It is a beautiful, sunshiny 57 degrees here in Detroit. We are on our way down to the Eastern Market to pick up our pig for our pig row. So let's go check that place out. And here we are. This is where we pick up the pig right here at Caps. Here we are, taking a look. One of these has our name on it. Perfect. So these guys are great. I call ahead of time, I order this pig about a month in advance. They have it ready, I come down, I pick it up, wrap it up, and it's good to go. Five years in a row, CAPS has been great for us. Well, that was close. Apparently, this place closes at 4 p.m., not 5 p.m., like Google says. So, uh, luckily, there was somebody in the back that allowed me to go in and still grab the pig. So, whoo, we just lucked out because that would have been bad. It takes time to prep these things. So, we got our pig. He's in the back of the pickup truck. Now we got to get him home, get him on the table, get him cleaned up, get him prepped up, get him on ice, and get him ready for tomorrow. So they've got this, the butcher did this so you could flay them out like this. This is not typically how we'd want our pig for a rotisserie cut like this. He's kind of splayed out to where you could put him in like a roaster. That's not what we're looking to do here. We're looking to put him on a rotisserie. So this section back here that's all cut, we'll have to sew that up. After you get the pig laid out and you get him washed down, now it's important to get the salt on there because if you salt them up now while you're waiting to get the rest of them prepped up, it helps cut down on some of that bacteria like salmonella. So let's get them salted up. And you can be pretty liberal with the salt. This is You're not sprinkling salt on them. You want to coat them in salt. So we just get them started here like this. It's going to seem like a lot. It's not. but this is weird. Guys can tell the pig, but it's weird. It's 100% weird. So we've got our 80 pound pig. He's set up on the table. We took him outside. We washed him up, got him cleaned up. 
Now we got him out here on the table. He's already been salted. Uh, we're going to season him up a little bit more, and then we're going to go in here and uh, truss his belly up and get that all uh, get that all sewed up and get him situated for the spit. So the first thing we're going to do is get this guy rolled over, so we can see here what we got to do. Okay. Thanks. We have to sew him from the top of his chin all the way down to the bottom and then we're gonna have to sew him together down here so we get a nice fit on the uh, spit rod well he's a long pig that's for sure so ooh boy well, we'll do our best here to make him fit on this and we're gonna go ahead and attach this right to him, right through his spine. I'll show you how we do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find his spine and I'm going to attach right through here the spine. For sure. That's the that's where that goes. So we're going to just kind of give a little mark there. Like so. And then we use this and we just give it a little tap and a little tap. And this. So I made two little incisions with a knife to help get this contraption through here. And then I just kind of push it all the way through. And then we hope that it reaches. And it does. It reaches through the other side. So that's right on its spine. And then we can roll him back over. Okay, so we have our first clamp in place. We're putting our second clamp on now. And this will hold the pig right through its spine, right around its spine. It's very important to have the pig secured to the uh, to the spit for sure. Bring the boards in. Bring the board. And here you can see that we have these clamps right on the spine. Here's the spine clamp. Here's the spine. Here's the clamp. It's on here nice and tight. And then we'll secure the rest of the pig with uh, some skewer type things that we have. What's regular Pepsi? That way, when you're seasoning, yeah. you, put, you have to put a little bit of oil. oil, so you stick. You want me to put some oil in here? I'm using these 7-inch uh, trussing needles that I found on Amazon. And I'm just using this uh, uh, butcher's twine or butcher's uh, string. I use it every year and it works out great, despite what my Greek friend says. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is just sew this together here. So it's this good. And this is the time consuming part of the whole job. It's tying them up here. But you want to get a good, for sure you want to get a good seal here. So when I truss this, I come in one side like this. So 
come through the skin, come in through the other side, and just push it through like this, grab it, pull it up, and then So far, we've got halfway sewed up. And what we're going to do is we're going to finish the rest of this, but we're going to start at the bottom and come up here, and we're going to leave an opening so we can fill it with our apples and our uh, garlic and our onions. And we're going to do that in the morning and then finish sewing it and then put it on the rotisserie. And here we go. We're just going to go through here like this, like this. And the thing is, you want to make sure you're getting some good skin, which we've gotten here. And just pull it through. We get here, grab some skin, pop this through, go all around. All right, right on through there like that. Pull it all the way through. Make your loop. Come back, pull tight. This way, that way, this way, nice and tight. And we're almost, almost done here. Almost, there we go. Coming through. Just kind of tuck it in a little bit there. Here we are. We've got it pretty much all sewed up nice and tight. I was worried about this piece down here because it was so cut wide open. We didn't want that because it's going on a rotisserie. But that's how I got it from the butcher and that's just the way it was. So we made do. We just sutured it up real well. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll put our, um, our meat hooks in here if you will. I'll show you that as we get to that point. But uh, so we're good. We've got a nice suture job here. We've got a nice suture job up at the top. And we left a little place open here so we can cram our apples and uh, uh, our garlic and our onions in there uh, just before we put it on the rotisserie tomorrow. So, uh, And then once we get all that in there, we'll just go ahead and sew this last little piece up. It'll take about five minutes, and then we'll be good to go. Right now what we have to do is we have to get our, our legs tied. 
and in position so we can make sure this will fit on our uh, on our rotisserie. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you can buy use their credit card to buy your groceries or everything. And all we did here is we yeah, bent the legs back you. and used some uh, yeah. wire to just tighten this up road. nice and tight. And keep his feet out of the fire. Now we have this part to do. Want it now? Push a little more. To press the edge. We're gonna wire it just wire. so that way when it gets uh, when one, it gets soft. It look, one wire tight here and pull this way and tight again. All right? You got it. Time to wire it up. Okay. Tight. Tight. Pull one through here, like this way. Yeah. All right, we'll do it again. Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. We are going to get this pig over some heat in just a few minutes. But the last thing I have to do is I have to get the uh, stuffing inside. And what I made for stuffing was very simple. I used these green apples. I've used an onion. And I used garlic. So I have it all chopped up. I have it in a bowl here. We're going to turn the pig over. And that hole that I left open, I'm going to stuff the pig real quick. And then I'm going to sew it up. And then I got some friends coming over for some coffee. They're going to help me pick this pig up, move it over so I can get the fire started, and then help me get the pig back onto the, onto the fire. So that's what's coming up. Let's get the pig turned over so we can get to the hole in the belly that we left. That is it. We just start putting it in here. Our apples onion and some garlic
All right. Our last few little sutures in here. What's going on? Oh. How we got going on here, Dave? So we're gonna move this right to this table and just set it down for now, and then we're gonna take this outside and get the coal started. So, Dad, if you want to do me a favor, what? If you could, everybody ready? If you can just open the garage door. That all I gotta do? That's it. Oh shit! I want to hit the poor guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, here. here let's move. Would you say eighty pounds? Where are you putting that thing? Right, right here. Over here? Yeah, so here, we'll just uh, go this way. Good enough for me. Good morning, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Can you put it right next to this flammable stuff? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So with the car. So you can put yours. Just go, uh, yep, yours can go in. Both on the top. Bottom, middle, there. Right See here. that thing? Oh, I see. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Kick this in with a board right here. Oh yeah, like at an angle. Yeah. Brace it. I knew that was gonna do that. Here we are, we've got the pig on. I got my friends that came over, my dad in the background. We had a little coffee this morning, got this thing set up nice and uh, nice and stable, got our coals going. This is gonna be a nice, long, slow rotisserie, but tonight it's gonna be fantastic. That's all I got. That's good, That's good. You did I liked good. it. <laughs> Uh, hello there, and welcome back to the DWS Garage channel. And today, uh, we are having the pig roast today. So yeah, at least we're having the pig roast now. Okay. Oh, shit, <laughs> What I personally like best uh, about the pig roast is eating the pig, obviously. Like, you can't go wrong with that, man. Hi, honey. My favorite thing about the pig roast is family and food. Our favorite thing about the pig roast is get the come butter. Get the and enjoy family and friends. Cool. Oh, my favorite thing about the pig roast is eating the pig and the trailer ride and spending time with friends. And playing Red Rover at the end. My favorite part is up, um, seeing family and friends okay, and baby. eating the pig and Red Rover and the hay rides and just coming. This is how we check the temperature. The juice is clear. Let's go. I just. I had so time to cut off, and here it was like a <laughs> <laughs> like a very good. Beach all day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy says, uh, <laughs> 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 
No? <laughs> Still, it's not working. Oh, you're right, it's not. This is how you check the temperature, Rhonda. It's cold. If you're Greek. Touch it. A little warm. It's better for my bag. Look at <laughs> you can't put that on me. Better make it. Excuse me. Come here, Gina, for God's sake. It's a good one. What the hell? Get the brains still in there. She's taking the video. Everybody pull your knife and take what you want. <laughs> right. <laughs> we give to the kids who's never pee in the night time. Really? So here we are about seven and a half hours later. The pig is finally done. We've pulled it off. We've got it on the table. We're getting ready to carve it up here. Stick around and we'll let you know how it turns out. 13 followers. They'll all go crazy. Oh my God. The only one who's a pig is... That's got to hurt. <laughs> With other sovereign mm -hmm. entities, we get things done. You have to do the right thing. Not one big organization where. Did you hear, Bill? We had to shove the leg through the other leg. That's, this is the trick that I need to really figure out on my. Roll it on its side. This way. Like that. I'm, my much smaller spin is how to, to trust the thing so it doesn't. Say cheese, Mom. She can't hear you. Cheese. Cheese. It's hot. We sneak in here, we have the good stuff. We come here. Jeannie's gonna show us something here. Oh. The brain cavity. And the best part is the brains. Hey Jester, you got any where's your gloves at, buddy? For the heat. I think we're gonna pull up. Hanging up right there on the side. <laughs> Thanks for coming! <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, Pablo. Look at that. Look at, look at that. I'll tell you what's nice about having the pig roast. It's hanging out with the friends that you don't see all the time, but when you do see them, it's like, literally, like you picked up from where you left off, and it's just a great time, so. You don't like the pig? <laughs> You know what? I'm a trapping boy. Hi. Hi. YouTube. I've been keeping my seat nice and toasty all day. What I liked about the pig roast is I love the hay ride because Jack. He likes to throw hay at me, and then he throws it at Michaela, and it was really funny. America! Ha 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 ha!
This is why the neighbors are always. It's a good dog. Too little. It's time. Thank you. 